Hauptbahn of Station of Mannheim. You come out of this gigantic gate and bear in mind, I don't know what is the route you're taking to reach Hauptbahn of the main station of Mannheim. If you're coming through uh, the railway ICE from uh, Frankfurt, it only takes an hour to reach here. And if you want to go to the university, you go towards, there is a tram station right uh, across, just walk for like 20 steps. This is where the tram stop is. Take a tram towards the university, that's the station name. You can get off there or you can also get off one station after university, it's called a Schloss. So either of the stops you get off, you will reach the University of Man. Tram stop which we are taking to go towards the university. For the tickets of the tram, you, there are vending machines right here on the platforms of tram stations or you can also buy the tickets from the Hauptbahn of Road station and it can range anywhere between 2.5-3 euros to 5 euros depending on how far you want to go. Right outside Mannheim University, this is the second largest Baroque styled quarter in the whole of Europe. Let me show you this close. here with me and uh, he studies here in University of Mannheim so he'll be taking us around the campus show us the main locations where it is relevant for you as a student to know first of all if somebody wants to reach Mannheim how can they if they're coming here for the first time so coming from India like uh, yeah the flight connectivity was uh, was good for Frankfurt okay so we came down to Frankfurt from Frankfurt it's a one hour journey to Mannheim so if I'm carrying four bags yeah that's not a problem how much would that cost me so the cost would depend on the train like if you yeah. take a cheap train it would cost you around 10 15 euros oh okay. okay so it's not very expensive it's affordable yeah yeah, yeah. and it takes one hour one and a half hour max right right yeah. when did you arrive here so i arrived last fall so that was september 1st 2019 okay yeah and what are you studying here so i'm studying masters data science we'll continue our talk not on the main road ah, so once you get down from the station all you need to do is come down to this uh, tram stop the trams are connecting from the station come down to this class and from um, here you can see uh, the main international office building that we have so all of your queries uh, all of your enrollments uh, all of the visa procedures and everything would be explained and helped here like you will have your point of contact will help you with settling down in Mannheim even res your residence and all of your visa things would be taken care of. We spoke about station so there is the Hauptbahn of the main station of Mannheim is just two stops away from Schloss Trams. What is this whole area? So this is the uh, Schloss that you know of. Like uh, this is the main attraction of the Mannheim city. And uh, whenever you see a photo of Mannheim city or the university, you see this castle. Yes. So this is an old castle from uh, from uh, I think a lot lot old 1850s. And this is a castle in which the university has been built into. So the core of the university is inside the castle. Okay. The libraries, the classrooms, and all of this. The new wings are developed outside. But uh, this is the center of the university and this is where, yeah, I mean, this is where most of the classes and libraries are. Abhishek, a lot of people who have tuned in, they might also be interested to know what was your process of application? How did you secure admission now you're here in Germany? Initially, the process starts from filling the online application form. Okay. You need to print the application form. It has all the checklists of all the documents that is needed, but still I'd give you a walkthrough of it. Yeah. So uh, most importantly, you need your transcript from your university undergrad. Then uh, you need your IELTS scorecard, which is 6.5. Then you need your BTEC mark sheets. Then you need to also provide them your 10th and 12th mark sheets. Okay. Okay. You put all of these documents together. You post all of these documents to them with the printed application form. Of course, that they'll revert back to you. 
Right, right. I mean, the usual standard time here to the response time is anywhere between six to eight weeks. Yeah. So don't uh, barge them with email like 20,000 follow up emails like, hey, what about my results? And all yeah, that. because it happens a lot of the time. Uh, they have a lot of applications. Yeah. For our batch, they had like 2,500 applications and they had wow. 15 seats. So 15? Yeah. 15 students are studying right now in yeah. this class. Yeah. Okay. Walk us through what subjects are you studying right now? So right now, I mean, again, the course curriculum is pretty flexible. Like uh, you have your own choices. Okay. Like, uh, I'm more into deep learning. So uh, I'm currently studying text analytics, image processing, computer vision. I mean, it, the course curriculum is completely uh, up to your wishes and likings. I mean, what, what subjects you are interested in. They offer a range of subjects in field of deep learning, machine learning. I mean, all of the fields are there. Mm -hmm. You need to choose the subjects that you want. Wow. Uh, what is the cost of living here as a student living in Manhattan? So, yeah, I mean, the cost uh, depends on where do you live. Uh -huh. So, right now, I'm living in the hostels. Okay. By the university. Uh -huh. So they are kind of quite cheap. Um, for me, it's uh, somewhere around 600 to 700 per month. That's more than enough. Okay. For like living. I mean, I, uh, I spend some money in the cafeteria as well. I make my food as well. So mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's, you have to strike a balance. Right, right. And it's 600 to 700 is more than good enough. And how's life in uh, Mannheim? So life is uh, busy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, because. Uh, Courses, it's a master's course, mm -hmm. so I've got a lot of work okay. and uh, there are a lot of projects, a lot, lots, lots to be done, lots to be learned. You have to learn the language as well. So, yeah, I mean, it's challenging, good, mm -hmm. exciting, yeah, a lot of people, a lot right. of variety, yeah. And uh, are your classes uh, almost every day? How's uh, it? So, no, it's not like that. Um, so, weekly we have like four days classes, three four days, days off, yeah. Four days classes, three days off, yeah. Okay. Um, what about part-time jobs? So part-time jobs are like, uh, there are lot, lots of jobs in Malang because this is an industrial place, you have lots of industries here. Mm -hmm. So a lot of my friends work in uh, software companies or even MACDs or food deliveries. They get, they get some part-time job, yeah. One last question to you, Abhishek. What's that uh, message do you want to get across to all those people who are either planning to come to Mannheim University or specific to your course? I would say that's a, that's a very good thing if you plan to come to Mannheim. There's a lot of opportunity, lots of things happening, lots of courses, lots of variety. You can do whatever you are interested in. There are lots of uh, helping professors who, who will put, put you on their research and uh, there's a lot of scope to do and to learn. You know, there are lots of workshops happening. Uh, even uh, professors put you in jobs which are directly with uh, industrial standards. The projects are industry sponsored projects. You can do a thesis uh, which is not of yours but uh, for a company. Mm -hmm. like it's a research and development for, for a company that you do and you submit that as a thesis. Wow. So all of those provisions are there. The grades are difficult to get because uh, it has high standards and uh, you learn a lot. All in all what we're trying to say is they will scrutinize you. Don't think the path is going to be easy, definitely yeah. not. You're coming this far to be a better version of yourself and grow as a per person professionally. In terms of city, geographically, it's placed very strategically. Uh, you just are an hour away from Frankfurt. Yes. Maybe a couple of hours or three hours away from Stuttgart, where the other headquarters of bigger companies are. You're not far from uh, Waldorf. That's where SAP headquarters is. Yeah. So, opportunity-wise, there's a lot, given that, how much are you willing to bring on the table? Thank you so much, Avishak. Yeah, thank uh, you, thank you. Uh, for Me coming too. on my channel. Uh, I hope you liked it. If you liked it, hit that thumbs up button and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.